Welcome to our video games news segment, episode two. So today I have two interesting stories for you and let's get started. So you may have noticed everywhere on the interwebs, or if not, I will tell you all about it, that everyone is sharing news and shares and print screens and screenshots and clips from Baldur's Gate 3. Now, well, I mean, not everyone, but you know, people in the gaming circles have been doing that. I mean, I have been seeing that in my feeds, or Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. Let me tell you a few words about it. I haven't played it myself, but I surely want to after seeing all those things. Now, according to Kotaku, Baldur's Gate 3, which was released August the 3rd, dethroned CSGO in concurrent players on Steam over the weekend, and it's currently entertaining more than 150,000 viewers on Twitch at the time of this Kotaku article's writing. And link is in the description if you want to read more. Now I'm going to read a bit more. The game simultaneously oscillates between storied epic moments of what we would see in the Lord of the Rings and the bonkers lunacy of Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And the Holy Grail, sorry. Tabletop RPG fans are enjoying this in a video game form, while newbies of the genre are getting a taste of just how wild and unpredictable these games can be. Another extremely positive thing about this title is how awesome it is to simply pay full for price for a game and get, wait for it, a full game. But what has been talked about on the interwebs besides the actual amazing gameplay is the spiciness of this title. Yeah, lots of sexy times for all tastes. I don't want actually to research this much because I don't want to spoil myself, but here are some uh, reviews on Steam to give you an idea of what this is all about. Uh, recommended positive review. I, I love the gay sex, directly to the point. Uh, play your way, don't use a guide. Feel the world, react to your choices, hit people with a salami. <clears throat> Another one says, mm, I can finally play D&D alone because I don't have friends. Another one, all of those are positive, can kick squirrel, game of the year. Another one says $60 for a microtransaction free, battle pass free, subscription free, non-live service game in the year of our Lord 2023, wild. Now, and this one, as a naked dwarf bard who accidentally killed the squirrel with a violent punch over some petty argument, spoke with all the rats in the druid camp and threw a naked party song around the goblin camp, I approve this game. So you get the idea. It is really something that I really, I really, really want to play and I hope I get to do that very soon. If that happens, stay tuned in our channel because we will hopefully share it. On a different news for our Xbox friends, but also PC gamers, this is not a brand new uh, news article, but it was reported back in June, but I just saw it now and I figure it is interesting, especially if you're an Xbox person or if you want to become an Xbox person. So Xbox Series X and Game Pass are about to get a little more expensive, according to this IGN article, link in the description. PC Game Pass and the Xbox Series S will stay the same price though. So here's what we know. Microsoft will increase the price of its high-end ninth generation console, the Xbox Series X beginning August 1. So it has already happened. The Verge notes that the pricing will impact most countries, but not the US, explaining that the cost of an Xbox Series X will be £479.99 British pounds in the UK or 549.99 euros across most European markets. It's important to note that the Xbox Series S will remain at the same price of 299.99 American dollars for the 512 gigabyte model or 3 349.99 dollars for the one terabyte model. I wasn't aware that there were different levels of Xbox passes as well. So here is the deal. The price of Xbox Game Pass will increase in all countries who offer the service. Beginning July 6, so it has already started, Game Pass Xbox Game Pass Ultimate will now cost $16.99 and that is a $2 increase and regular Xbox Game Pass will now cost $10.99 monthly, a $1 increase. However, the price of PC Game Pass will remain at $9.99 a month. This is the first time that Microsoft has announced an increase of for Xbox Game Pass since the service started in 
2017. It is important to know that you can test the service also during a two weeks trial for $1, which is also reduced from the original one month trial. And I have links in the description for that as well. So for that, Microsoft recently changed its $1 Game Pass offer to last for 14 days instead of one month. The change comes ahead of the launch of Bethesda's Starfield, another title that I'm very excited about, but we can talk about it on a different video, which releases day and date on Game Pass at the beginning of September. That's it for a short news segment. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it and make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and news like this. That's it. That's it for our short news segment. We hope you enjoyed it, so make sure to like and subscribe for more news and videos from the video games industry.